Welcome. This is our third video, Hider on Business. Ernie Goss here. I'm professor of economics and McAllister chair here at Creighton University. Joined by, as usual, my sidekick, uh, Tony Henderson, the dean of the college. We're going to talk about the greatest challenges facing businesses and the economy moving forward in 2022. And Tony, take it away. What's what are the what do you see as some of the biggest challenges to businesses? for 2022? I think the biggest challenge that most businesses are dealing with is one of talent. Talent acquisition, talent retention, uh, and, and with inflation, uh, part of that acquisition and retention is how much you're paying. But today's uh, job market, people are looking for work environments, work situations. Can I work remote? Uh, benefits, uh, flexible time and schedules. And then uh, in addition to that, it's really technology and innovation, how that's affecting things. That's driving the talent issue because now you also need to be able to hire talent that understands new technology, understands innovation, is entrepreneurial. Uh, so there's a lot of challenges facing business today. And we are a talent machine. Would you agree here at Creighton University? We are. We're producing hopefully those young men and women who are going to go out there and light a fire. I think that's, that's right. absolutely the case. We, we right. gauge ourselves on being able to supply uh, our customers, which is businesses in society and, and business graduate schools. schools. Don't forget graduate yes. schools and law schools and medical schools. Yeah. And but we're, we're a one-stop we, shop. I tell you, we yeah, provide, yeah. In, in business education, we provide uh, talent and human capital hopefully for businesses and obviously students come here for those opportunities. And they, for businesses out there and graduate schools, come on down. We're here. We got great folks. But you know, Tony, we survey, you know, as you know, better than you pay the bills. I think they come to your desk for our survey that we conduct here at Creighton University. Two surveys. One of manufacturers, one of bank CEOs, and principally in your uh, rural areas. The number one challenge is this is, I won't say it's real easy, but it's real tough on the businesses, supply chain issues. Getting, and for farmers, for example, and these are bank CEOs telling us the issues affecting farmers out there. Their number one issue is getting inputs in and outputs out. Real simple to talk about, but transportation bottlenecks. We saw what went on in Canada. We're, we're not seeing the identical thing in the U.S., but we are seeing supply chain issues, transportation issues. Number two, you said it, so is finding and hiring qualified workers. That has been the case for many, many years, but it's tougher now. Right. I mean, think about it. Nebraska, this part of the country, now we are hired our own business. We are in the midsection of the country. We are in Nebraska, right. Iowa. We got the lowest unemployment rate in the nation, okay, 1.9%. Uh, remarkable given what has gone on. But again, the finding and hiring qualified workers is, is a big, big challenge. And then, of course, the final one, not a, not a small one, is inflation. Inflation prices, like, as, uh, as you've talked about previously, is uh, fertilizer costs, for example. Right. This seeing them put triple, more than 300% increase in, in the price and that's, an, 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 I'm sure business, I don't buy fertilizer. Yes, you do. If you eat, you buy fertilizer. And that's what we're talking about. So any. Uh, well, I think that, I think you bring up a, a, an interesting point, uh, Ernie, is that uh, businesses that are service businesses often think that they don't have a manufacturing problem, so supply chain's not their issue. Mm -hmm. But typically, even though service businesses are servicing manufacturers, buying products that they need to deliver their services, so they're they are impacted even though they they may not be in in the manufacturing realm but if you're in the manufacturing realm you're really getting oh, hit yeah. twice because it is your supply chain challenge as well as your talent challenge and i i, I shouldn't get personal here tony but you know uh, i just bought a refrigerator my family and i just bought a refrigerator we got the refrigerator i think it was thirty three hundred dollars i'm like wow i didn't wow. know they were that much well it came with everything except a handle there's no handle there. We're like, what do we do here? It's got to come later. Well, later's now been a month, and now I'm waiting, and where's the handle? Things like that. I mean, it's remarkable yeah. what we're seeing today, and that's pushing up prices. That's, that's a, as I said, that's the third, the third 
challenge their business, but it's it's to say it's number three. Uh, you know that's you, you know, Ern. If you hadn't been such a cheapskate and would have paid a little more than thirty three hundred, you could have gotten the model with a handle. I, I know. <laughs> and talking about inflation, talking about the Federal Reserve. I mean, this is a remarkable time as the Chinese. The Chinese, I call it a saying. It's actually a curse. You know, may you live in interesting times. That's this is the most interesting times, and I don't know if our our students appreciate that. Our our car. Our, well, obviously they wouldn't be. You know, they're 18 to 22, the undergraduates. Then we got graduates. Their entire too. life has been interesting times compared yeah, to yeah. our uh, adolescent years. That's right. This is an, it is an interesting time, but those are the three challenges. And the number two, when you you talked about, and we at Creighton University, the Hyder College of Business, we're in the business of providing talent, but boy, we need more of it. And what about continuing ed? We, I know we're running a little long here, but continuing ed is important too. Not just degrees, but once you get the degree, you got to come back. Not uh, to absolutely, us, but because the world's changing. A lot of the, a lot of the things that uh, we talked about five years ago have evolved. They're they're not. Sometimes they go away, but many times they they just have an additional layer. So we talk about financing. We've now introduced different things like Bitcoin that was oh, never yeah. there five years ago. Well, Tony, I don't know if you remember this, but I remember when I first started in this profession, that was 1983, you need a piece of chalk, a chalkboard, you had a book, they had a book. That's not the way it is now. It's much, much more difficult. And it's, I think it's better, but it's a challenge for everybody. Everybody out there is faced with a changing world. But so I don't, true. Well, thanks, Tony. Thanks to all of you for joining us here. We've talked about the challenges that businesses and other institutions face going forward for 2022. Until we meet again for our video number four, May Your Economic Cup Runneth Over. This is Ernie Goss, Tony Hendrickson here, Hide Our Own Business, and thank you.